As you're probably aware, everything is, seems to be going up in price, especially our groceries. So, of course, we probably have ideas of growing our own vegetables, having a garden. Unfortunately, uh, we uh, thought the same thing too, but we have dogs, so we can't just put it in the ground in the backyard. So we do need planters. So we started shopping around for planters, and holy smack, look at the prices of these things. It's pretty crazy. And of course, we need more than one of these. You probably need like five, six or, or more of these planters. So <laughs> that'd be a crazy expense. So we turned ourselves over to uh, Facebook Marketplace to see what's available on there. And there you can find some pretty good deals. Here we found ones like reclaimed wood. That's about $110 that they're asking for. So that's not so bad. But then there's other ones that were like here. I thought, oh, this is a good deal, $150. But no, for that size, for the size that we actually want, we're looking at $250. So, so we were back at square one. So I think, oh, how about if they just built my own, get the raw materials, and we'll build our own. So here we have, I went back to the big box store, Home Depot, just as a reference point, and it's about close to million dollars per per board. This is a one by six by six sort of a cedar fence board, and yeah, so really got nine dollars for that. And then I'd also need about one uh, four by four, uh, eight foot long, and that's uh, almost forty three dollars. So I pulled out the calculator and did some quick number crunching to see uh, what it would cost us. So we need about ten of the boards, which is about nine dollars each, and then uh, this one uh, four by four, and of course some miscellaneous nails, stain, and things like that. Add them all up, it comes up to $138 plus tax, which comes to a grand total of about $156. So a little bit cheaper than it would be buying it from a big box store. Well, you still have to put it together. Anyways, $156 sounds pretty reasonable. Now, luckily, I actually have some old boards still laying around in the backyard from an old fence that we took down. So this is perfect for this project. It's uh, made of cedar and uh, it'll be perfect for this for this project. Now, you can do the same thing. If you go back to Marketplace, there's a lot of boards you can find out there that are probably for free, like this one here, some nice piles of uh, boards. It probably look like cedar as well. I would prefer to go to cedar if you can find it. That's great. Another thing you can do, you can work with some local fence people and see if, you know, hey, I'll take away your old fences uh, and I'll make all these uh, flower boxes that I can make for myself or sell them to as well and uh, you know you sell them that makes some extra cash for you to buy huh, your groceries but first we go back to my old uh, wood pile here again from an old fence that we took apart last year uh, of course we had to cut down and cut off the ends that were rotting and take off all the nails and screws and things like that so we did a lot of work already last year because we knew we wanted to use this for some different projects has some 4x4s here as well and here I'm just cutting out a 4x4 piece just for an idea of how I think I'm going to make the leg. So I made this like L shape or V shape, however you want to look at it. And I actually found one in the back that already had this cut out. So I'm just going to use that one. And here's our detailed process of designing. <laughs> We're going to put the boards together. It's quite uh, intricate and, uh, you know, very professional. And essentially you're just going to be taking the boards, uh, the fence boards that we have, and nail them on to, and glue and nail them onto that leg. And here's the other part of the whole design, you know, look aspect of things. Essentially, I'm gonna take three boards and making sure that it has that look, and then also figuring out how much uh, leg I would need. Again, for a nice, uh, you know, height and everything else. So I'm gonna have about, you can buy the, the four by fours at eight foot. I decided to make the flower or the planter box about two feet tall, so I need four legs at two feet. Then we'll move over to the chop saw and start cutting. Once the legs are all cut to length, we just clean them off or brush them off from all the debris over the years. Uh, and of course, we want the same look as the one we had, what we saw in the big box store. So we're just using some old stain that I had lying around. This is ebony. Didn't I wanted black, but this is as dark as we had, and uh, so that uh, it'll match. Of course, this will be part of the five dollar cost that we talked about earlier for stain and staples and whatnot. So this brings us to the next day and we let the stain dry and cure or whatever you want to call it and we're going to start assembling. So essentially I'm using PL glue, an outdoor glue that has some flexibility and I'm using this stapler gun here using stainless steel. That's the main, the main part that you want to be sure of, not just to use regular nails you'd want it, or staples, you want to use stainless steel so that they don't rust. 
and the PL glue is there to help, of course, uh, hold it all together. Once it cures as well, it becomes like hard, but still has that flexibility. So it should hold for a very long time. Now I'm just attaching the lower little strapping where I'm going to put the, um, the boards, the baseboards down. Now I put the baseboards lengthways just to save on time. Definitely would have been stronger if I had done them crossways, of course, but I don't mind if they sag a little bit. Uh, I will put a little cross piece across there that should help keep it from sagging. And because uh, I've made some similar boxes like this in the past and never had really big issues with, with the sagging. So I, I just went ahead and, and did that. Of course, I do have some uh, straps on the long side. So the two sideboards will definitely have some strength there, but I'll just put a, like I said, a little cross bracing uh, on the sides and on the bottom as well, just to keep all the boards aligned. And uh, now I'm just putting the finishing touch at the top. You don't have to do that, but I kind of like uh, having the finish ledge on the top. And again, some PL glue here and there to help maintain it all together in one piece. And once it's done, the last thing would be to put the, uh, the landscaping material on the inside, just with staples, and you'd be done. And uh, I think it's very, came out really well, very comparative to what you saw at the big box store. And uh, we can make it, these things in less, you know, probably about an hour with the tools I had. If you're just using hand tools like a skill saw or a circular saw and a screwed, you know, a small drill bit, um, then then you might be, you know, taking a little bit of half hour longer. But all in all, you can save a whole lot of money. Like I said, maybe five dollars to build this because we had the scrap wood, and the uh, the money that we save, we can put it towards plants. Hey, there we go, or groceries. I hope you found this video helpful, uh, or at least entertaining, and if so, please hit the like button, and if you haven't done already and you'd like to see some more videos that we make, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so every time we do a new video, you'll get notified.